Uh, but let's switch gears here. Somebody who has done an emotion study uh, on the presidential election. Here's a name I'm going to absolutely butcher. Ready? Patrick Wazowski. Is that even close to correct? It's farewell, Dale. Thank you very much. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Um, you've written a, a study, uh, and you've done a, a study, emotional study of the presidential election. Uh, you found a yeah. few things on this. Uh, Obama has doubled the emotional impact on people outside the U.S. compared to Romney. Now, it's interesting that you find it that way because on the in-trade studies, I don't know if you know what that is, but there was a in-trade is like almost a prediction market uh, based in Ireland. And what they do is they take bets on who's going to win the presidential election. I saw yesterday 28% of the people who are putting money into that election are Europeans. So how could that be skewing their results? They're showing 62% chance Obama's reelected. How could that be skewing it because of Europeans? Well, the interesting thing is um, that what, let me first maybe explain what we do and how we measure it. Okay. We measure what kind of face you would take on when you're feeling as a rose gate. <laughs> so what we do, we film people through the webcam on our website while they watch a video of Obama and Romney and we record their facial expressions and analyze their micro expressions. Now micro expressions are very short movements of the facial muscles like half a second or shorter that reveal emotions like happiness, sadness, anger, fear, disgust and surprise. And these are very reliable signs what somebody truly feels about what they're seeing, what they're hearing. So our study, we discovered that um, like almost double um, the people outside of the USA are more emotionally connected to Obama than, than Romney. So according to us, if Europeans could vote and would vote, then Obama would win. Really? What about what's the emotional reaction of folks inside the inside the U.S., people that could vote here in the U.S.? What, what, what do you get there? Well, what we get there is that, that it's a very, very close election. Um, 13%, well, the thing is that we can say because it's a very, very close race, and I wouldn't be surprised if it's almost a tie or a tie. Now, the interesting fact is that... 52% of independent voters, they find Romney's sarcastic Obama denigrating humor really funny. <laughs> so, so they like his humor, so, so that's good. Whether they will vote for because of that reason for, for Romney, I, I don't know. Because also 13% of the indifferent voters, they feel emotionally more connected to Obama. And we measure that by recording the facial expressions through the webcam, how attentive they are, how emotionally they react with their face, even subconsciously, while seeing Obama. And 30% of those independent voters, they feel more connected with, with Obama. And then what this does is this study you've done, it basically takes the real emotions as opposed to what they'll tell you because what people will tell you may not be exactly what they're feeling. Uh, people exactly. lie. And, and in this particular way, you can read their body language and their facial expressions. And it's harder to hide and, and lie about that. It's actually impossible to hide because okay. our limbic system, it steers our facial muscles. And it happens before we know it. And you can see those, even if you're talking to whoever you meet on the street in Alabama, if you meet somebody, the first reaction on their face is what they truly feel or think about you or your business proposal, and also about the potential future candidate. So, so what we measure, we believe, is, is the most accurate measurement you can have because we're not asking people whether they can name emotions or not. We just measure it on their face without that they have to do anything. Uh, yeah, there were some other interesting stats uh, out here uh, listed. 26% of Republicans show very strong emotions of anger uh, and disgust when seeing Obama, but at the same time, 16% of Republicans seem to react with negative emotions when seeing Romney. What does that mean? 
Well, we should ask the Republicans for that. Maybe you can call somebody up. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, a, it's really interesting. Um, we, the, these are the facts that we discovered. What it means, well, I guess that would start kind of a debate. But what we know is that because 26% of Republicans show very strong emotions of anger and disgust when seeing Obama, they, they actually seem to hate Obama. Um, and what's interesting is that the opposite is not the case. So there are very few Obama supporters who seem to hate Romney. Yeah, that, and that goes to what we've been talking about a lot on this program and elsewhere, uh, the enthusiasm gap. I mean, there is a, there is a gap of enthusiasm uh, between uh, what's been going on with Romney and what's been going on uh, with uh, with Obama. Republicans are very enthusiastic, maybe maybe uh, super excited to put out a guy they dislike. And, and meanwhile, uh, Democrats are sort of apathetic to both uh, their distrust and dislike of Romney and their support of Obama. Yeah, and the 16% of Republicans who seem to react with negative emotions when seeing Romney's picture, well, maybe they think he doesn't look so good. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and maybe they're still going to go out there and uh, still be uh, and still dislike Obama as well. Yeah, it could be. Well, okay. I, mean, I mean, here's why, and I'll tell you why I think that, because uh, the Republicans that don't like Romney, they don't like him because he is not a pure enough Republican. That, that the, And if that's the case, that's my guess off the top of my head. If that's the case, well, Obama's not going to be acceptable to them either. Yeah, so yeah, it's very interesting emotional facts we uh, we know. And um, also what's, uh, what's also interesting is that Obama elicits less negative emotions with both Democrats and Republicans because he has kind of a more sophisticated gentleman approach. When even when he's making sarcastic remarks, however, the, the latest debate he has intensified those. Yeah, he's cool. Um, Obama's cool. I mean, people see Obama as cool, and it's it, you know you don't get mad at the cool guy. He, even even the the bully in, in high school, everyone kind of thinks he's cool, even though uh, he's kind of a jerk sometimes. People still look at him like that guy's kind of cool. I, I can get behind some of the stuff he he says, uh, and, and he does. Now now Pete, uh, or excuse me, Patrick. Uh, Wazowski, uh, I appreciate you taking the time to join us. Uh, what's going to happen in the election, in your opinion? I know you say it's close. Pick a side. What's going to happen? Well, if uh, if Obama wins, it will be thanks to his stronger emotional connection he has with his supporters, and as, as we mentioned, the gentleman approach. Uh, there is a small chance also that Romney will uh, lead the election by and he does that. If he will win, it will be thanks to playing strongly against his uh, his opponent. But, um, yeah, maybe we'll include some Europeans also in the voting, and then definitely Obama will win. <laughs> All right, there we go. We appreciate uh, you, you checking in with us. It's a very interesting study, uh, and you guys can go and look at this. It's the Center uh, for Body Language U.S. Election Prediction using micro-expressions.